very active house and a, and a house full of, of a lot of fun. You know, I got involved in public policy for one simple reason. I actually believe that the private sector will always do a better job of meeting the needs of society than a big government program. I actually believe that the private sector creates jobs, not government. And I actually believe that consumers should pick winners and losers, not bureaucrats, not government programs, and definitely not politicians. You know, while the private sector creates jobs, the reality is, is that government also creates a business plan. And that business climate comes through litigation, through regulation, and through taxation. If you look at where we are as a state, it's very concerning. The state of Missouri is now the worst state in the nation to be sued. From a regulatory perspective, we have over 6,500 rules of regulations, more than 10,000 pages that are already on top of the 30 volumes of, of state laws. And from a tax policy perspective, although it may have been done with good intentions over the last 20 to 30 years, Special interest has created hundreds of carbines. And you know what it's got? This In the last 100 years, only two states in our nation have not had at least one decade of double-digit economic growth. Missouri is one of the two. In 1900, Missouri had 16 congressional delegates. Today, we only have eight, which means the rest of the country has grown proportionately that much faster than we have. But most concerning, if you take the real growth of GDP, the rate by which our economy has grown, and you rank it all compared to all 50 states over the last 10 years, Missouri is 48 out of 50. Now, I don't know about you, but as a husband, as a father, as an entrepreneur, as somebody who invests in his communities, I find those statistics unacceptable. And I believe that if we are going to change the direction of our state, we have got to change the leaders in our state. Quite candidly, the status quo has to go. And we have to have elected officials who are worried less about re-election and more about changing the future of our state. So for me, you know, for me it's pretty simple. I'm a guy who believes in better government, not bigger government. I'm a guy who believes our government has to be reasonable, it should be responsible, but most importantly, it's got to be fiscally responsible for the taxpayers. And we have to have a government that is accountable. And the only way that we are going to have accountable government is when we have elected officials who don't just articulate our values. They have to share our values, live our values, and govern with those values. If you believe like me, I'm standing here tonight, I'm asking for your help, I'm asking for your support, and I'm asking you to please consider voting Brad Barton for the